More help is on the way for young people in Greater Victoria who need health care, mental health or addiction support. The Foundry Victoria will be moving to a much larger lo location next month. And then this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stratton got a tour of the new site under construction and shows us what a big difference it will make. This is going to be our lobby and then the front desk is going to be there. It may not look like much now. But this downtown space will be the new home of the Foundry Victoria, which provides much needed health, mental health and addiction services for youth. I am so incredibly excited. We have been needing this for such a long time. It's a constant cry from staff and youth that we just need more space. The new space on Yates Street is almost double the size of the current Douglas Street location, which means they can help even more young people aged 12 to 24. This is going to mean a lot for the youth of Victoria. I think as people know, um, there's a lot of issues with substance use and mental health right now. Youth are struggling. And so to be able to expand our services to that many more youth is just, it's a game changer for us. In the last year alone, Foundry Victoria had 450 new youth access services. That's in addition to the 2,500 youth and their families already being helped. We see kids coming in with a level of self-awareness that I honestly really admire because they're able to say, I think I need help. Many young people are still struggling as a result of the social isolation and uncertainty they experienced during the COVID pandemic. You know, it was just a gap of two years where youth didn't get to develop in the way that they should have. So um, that isolation has definitely led to youth seeking out kind of um, not very positive outlets for the pain they're experiencing. And sadly, losing clients is a devastating reality for youth workers. It's very difficult to see youth that you can recognize the promise and recognize the beauty that they can have in their future and be robbed of it. And I think that there's so many ways that we can prevent it. This new, larger location made possible by donations opens in September. We're still raising a little bit more, just if anybody's listening. Um, we are accepting donations to finish up the project. Um, but really, the community did rally together to make this a reality in a very short period of time. And will hopefully help. Being able to come to work in a place where I don't feel helpless, <laughs> where I feel like I am making a difference, where I'm not just turning a blind eye, it helps me get out of bed in the morning. The thing I was told when I was a teenager and I was thinking about getting into youth work was often people will do it because they had somebody or because they had nobody. And I like to think that maybe I can be somebody's somebody. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.